visit Canada to hallucinate in a brain-changing magic mushroom wellness retreat. Have money and need a change in your brain? Why not book a stay in the Journeyman Collective Resorts? It will be all about consuming magic mushrooms, known as psilocybin. Psilocybin comes from certain types of psilocybe mushrooms. Psilocybin is metabolized in the body to the active drug psilocybin, also present in many of the same mushrooms. It's known as magic mushrooms, mushrooms, or shrooms. Psilocybin mushrooms are ingested orally. They may also be brewed as tea or added to other foods to mask their bitter flavor. What will be the effects on your body? The physical effects include nausea, vomiting, muscle weakness, and lack of coordination. The psychological consequences of psilocybin use include hallucinations and an inability to discern fantasy from reality. Panic reactions and a psychotic-like episode also may occur, particularly if a user ingests a high dose. What are the magic mushroom's overdose effects? Longer, more intense trip episodes, challenging experiences, physical and emotional, psychosis, and possible death. Abuse of psilocybin mushrooms could also lead to poisoning if one of the many varieties of poisonous mushrooms is incorrectly identified as a psilocybin-containing mushroom. Putting all of the facts outlined by the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, aside, a study by the Washington University of Medicine supports the theory that using magic mushrooms can create a lasting change in the brain. Doctors went on to say new neural pathways could be formed and the detachment of self was vital to the therapeutic value of this growingly popular psychedelic substance. A PR agency affiliated with major media promotes. According to the two retreat owners, experiencing magic mushrooms is why their guests always leave feeling changed. This message has been pushed by the Savage PR agency to promote the Journeyman Collective Resorts as a new type of wellness resort located in the picture-perfect mountains outside of Vancouver, Canada. In a press pitch, George Savage introduces Rob Grover and Gary Logan as the founders of this mushroom resort, soliciting interviews to proclaim the retreat as a wellness company and a luxury-guided magic mushroom retreat. We are the masterful guides who empower you to embark on a bespoke journey that connects you to a greater awareness of self, congruent with deep joy, profound creativity and abundant prosperity. As your awareness expands and you move through new layers of truth, flow accelerates and you return to the world with clarity of purpose, ease of action, and joy is alive in your being. With access to new quantum streams of consciousness you attune your being to flow with the laws that influence reality and live in harmony and sustainable balance with the natural world. The greatest power you will ever wield is the expansiveness of your multidimensional awareness of pure reality. Dissolution of illusion is key. Transmutation of fear is essential. Every single human walking the face of the planet has generational trauma lodged within their cellular composition that requires deep quantum clearing. Upon cleaning and clearing stagnant energy you will step more fully into alignment, empowerment and purity of your soul. The energy of your soul will effortlessly guide you to the next logical step for greater impact and assists you in bringing your vision into conscious form. Rob Grover and Gary Logan is major U.S. media promoting magic mushrooms? Savage PR posts its affiliation with major media such as Bloomberg, New York Post, Forbes, CBS, The Telegraph, USA Today, The Washington Times, BBC, and The Times, among others. In its news pitch, Mr. Savage said that the Canadian retreat hosted everyone from entrepreneurs and CEOs to athletes, performers, couples, and small groups. Rob Grover and Gary Logan have a combined 60-plus years of education in spiritual and metaphysical training, executive-level mindset coaching, energetic healing modalities, and Alexander Technique lessons. This psychedelic retreat was established in 2018 and promises to guide its guests through an extraordinary personalized experience. They utilize psilocybin with respect as a plant medicine and have built a trusted, safe, and luxurious setting for its use. Rob and Gary believe that when magic mushrooms are facilitated professionally, they can improve mental, emotional, and spiritual wellness. Addiction Psilocybin mushrooms lack the same addictive potential as more common drugs of abuse, e.g., opioids, stimulants. 
studies show that people who use mushrooms regularly do not follow typical patterns of addiction. 3. Although they may continue to use to attain pleasurable feelings associated with use, which can lead to somewhat problematic, compulsive patterns of use. Are magic mushrooms legal? Red equals illegal, blue equals legal, green equals legal for medical reason, yellow equals ambiguous slash partially, orange equals illegal with decriminalized cities. Are mushrooms safe? According to Greenhouse Treatment, many people believe that mushrooms are entirely safe, but this is not always true. There are potential dangers related to ingesting mushrooms. It can be difficult to tell the difference between hallucinogenic mushrooms and different types of mushrooms, some of which can be toxic. Ingesting the wrong kind of mushrooms can be dangerous or even deadly. The effects of mushrooms can make users do things or act in ways they may not normally. People have been reported to behave aggressively, act violently, or even put themselves or others in dangerous situations. Using mushrooms can have negative effects on your mental health. Mushroom use may be associated with a long-term condition known as hallucinogen persisting perception disorder, HPDD, which involves sudden flashbacks that can occur at any time without warning. Flashbacks can involve aspects of previous trips, including hallucinations, and can be extremely disruptive to your ability to function normally. Psilocybin Mushroom Overdose and Withdrawal since mushrooms are grown naturally and not synthesized in a lab, it is difficult to monitor and regulate the dosage. It is estimated that a lethal dose would be 1,000 times that of an effective dose, making it highly unlikely for someone to overdose on mushrooms unless an underlying health condition existed. With no significant physiological dependence associated with the drug, withdrawal is not likely, although it may take a day or two to feel normal after ingesting mushrooms. Demographics of Psilocybin Mushroom Misuse and Addiction A 2017 survey of U.S. residents aged 12 and older found that about 42 million people reported using any hallucinogen at some point in their lives. Lifetime use of hallucinogens was greatest in people aged 30 to 34, with males of all ages reporting more use than females. Of those people who reported hallucinogen use in their lifetime, 2.4 million reported using psilocybin specifically. People sometimes ingest mushrooms alongside other drugs, like MDMA, marijuana, and alcohol. Another survey found that as of 2018, 4.5% of high school seniors had used a hallucinogen other than LSD, a category that includes mushrooms, at least once in their lifetime, and 0.9% of those high school seniors reported using other hallucinogens at least once in the past month, although the study did not measure mushroom use individually. People often misuse more than one substance, such as alcohol, marijuana, or various types of hallucinogens. One example is known as hippie flipping, which is when ecstasy is taken with psilocybin mushrooms. Point two, this can be dangerous due to the unpredictable dose of the drugs and the combined effects. When used in this manner, a person may experience a more intense high, but the potential for negative side effects or overdose is increased. Mushrooms Addiction Treatment there are currently no medications that treat addiction to mushrooms or other hallucinogens. Repeated use of mushrooms quickly leads to significant tolerance, to the point that the drug becomes nearly ineffective no matter how large the dose. If a person has a tolerance to psilocybin, they may also have a tolerance to similar hallucinogens, such as LSD. This is known as cross-tolerance. Though rare, there is some evidence that classic hallucinogens such as psilocybin may trigger or worsen certain mental health conditions such as schizophrenia, manic episodes, or depression. 